Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This side, Asif Ibnad. Today's video is going to be really interesting. We are going to talk about one of the super simple algorithm in machine learning, which is K nearest neighbor. We are going to see an example using KNN on the most famous data set that is Iris data set. So let's get started. Before I jump to the example directly using Jupyter Notebook, let me talk about KNN in short, what it really means and how KNN works. KNN is a supervised machine learning technique, most of the time used for classification problems. It can also be used for regression, but most of the time used in classification. To understand KNN how it really works, we have a simple example here, which looks like this. We have a data set which is given the data is of harmless and harmful tumors plotted for age and the tumor size. Here you see a harmless tumors. These red crosses are nothing but the harmless tumors as age is less more harmless tumors and as age grows the tumor size increases and you see harmful tumors are shown in green circle. Okay, so this is how the data looks like which is given to us. You can assume this data set as a cancer data set. We need to find out whether the identified tumor is harmless or a harmful tumor. Now let's assume when a new data point comes or a new patient visits to the clinic and he does his test then the new data point which you see here in the white need to be identified whether it is a harmless tumor or it is a harmful tumor okay so how do we classify this what KNN does it simply looks at who is nearer to me where do I fall into so it just calculates the distance to its nearest data points right so K is the number of data points that we are gonna provide let's say if I provide value of K as 4 so it calculates the distance for 4 data set okay so this one this one this one this one probably the 4 nearest data points and it tries to become same as that of the nearest data points so who is nearer to this data point so this looks nearer to harmless tumors out of four data points provided three are harmless and only one is harmful okay so in this situation this will also be considered as harmless and this is how the super simple KNN algorithm works all that KNN algorithm needs to do is calculate the distance for given number of neighbors the value of K let's say this time the data point falls somewhere here the blue data set that you see now this time the blue is more nearer to the harmless tumor so if I provide value of K as only one new data point will also be considered as harmless and even visually I can say that these are harmful tumors so we cannot give value of k as the small number and also i cannot give value of k as a big number we need to find the balance between going underfitting and going overfitting we need to regularize it so we need to find the best value of k that's the second point we need to consider so how does the knn algorithm works it is so simple first decide how many neighbors you want to ask to okay the value of k is nothing but number of neighbors we want to calculate we want to consider then calculate the distance from the new data set from new data point once the distance is calculated now the knn will know who is nearer to the new data point what category what class it belongs to based on the counted gates belongs to the category new data point will be assigned to the category for which the number of neighbors is maximum and that is it our model is ready if you see here in the example the value of k is given 4 so this new data point belongs to what whether it belongs to the smileys whether it belongs to sun what it belongs to we see a tie here assigning even number to k is not a good idea so it is always better to provide value of k as an odd number so if i provide value of k is equal to 11 you can see the circle expands further from calculating the distance it will decide what category i belong to so you can easily see there are more smileys green ones so this data point will automatically become a green smiley so this is how knn actually works it is that simple all right let's jump to the demo part now many of you were asking us for uh, git repository the same demos examples that i'm using in my videos i have already uploaded them to a github repository I'm going to keep the link of the Git repository in the description and also you can find it in the pinned comment so you can make most of it. 
under this link i have uploaded the demos you can see regression and classification so the classification the one we are discussing so the example that we're going to discuss here is the iris data set very famous the popular data set among all machine learning enthusiasts so iris data set is a typical classification problem where we have three classes of flowers so these are flowers setosa versicolor and virginica so what is given to us in this problem statement is a data of a setosa versicolor and virginica three classes three categories so you need to find out when a new data point is presented what this new flower belongs to what category that flower belongs to visually these flowers looks same but these flowers can be categorized by looking at the features of the flowers in detail definitely we are not talking about deep learning here where we do the image pre-processing and image processing so our data is not in the image format but we are getting data in the tabular format something like this and this is how the data looks like so the upper part of this flower called as petal and the lower part of this flower is called sepal so what is given we have sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width so the features and the labels are given so the output is also given supervised data right the right answers are already given to you so we need to train on this data and we need to find out when new data comes what category what class it belongs to amazing let's proceed ahead and as per the rules we are gonna import the libraries which will be required for us to run this example we're gonna import numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn these are data science python data science libraries which are helpful for us to get the data frame to plot the data again to plot the data seaborn is for advanced plots we're gonna use the inbuilt data set sklearn import data set sklearn import metrics metrics we're importing to find the accuracy of our model precision recall and f1 score and also a confusion matrix if you don't know what it really means we have already discussed precision recall and f1 score in detail in another video i'll keep the link of the video in the description and in the i button please make sure you watch that first because how do you calculate the accuracy of the model is also really important okay let's proceed ahead for now then definitely k nearest neighbor sklearn dot neighbors import k nearest neighbor so this is the classifier we are gonna use amazing let me hit shift enter to execute this proceeding ahead import iris data set load iris data set and get the data frame and print the data so first five rows we are printing here so you can see first five rows sepal length sepal width petal length petal width target is given 000 stands for first category we don't want to see all the data let's see how many values that we have how many rows we have so we are taking a count here ef target values count so we see that category 0, 50, 2, 50, 150. So we have 150 rows. That means 50 setosa, 50 versicolor, 50 virginica. Beautiful integer type. Now, if you remember the thumb of a rule in machine learning is whenever you get the data, you plot the data, right? Plotting the data is important because you understand the insights of the data and you can decide which machine learning algorithm can be used what values i can provide to the parameters of machine learning algorithm so we are gonna plot our data by using seaborn library sns we have imported here it is a seaborn library advanced plot which will help us plot the scatter plot plt.scatter map and we're plotting the data against petal length petal width and you we have selected as target okay let's see how does the plot look like how does the data look like amazing now if you look at the plot Petal length, petal width, legends are also here. Zero is setosa, blue ones are setosa, orange, amber are versicolor, green are virginica. By looking at the data, I can easily say that blue is very much classifiable. It is way far than other two types. That is, setosa can be easily identified. This is a bit unique. But for versicolor and virginica, there is a mix of data points, right? So some greens, some oranges are getting mixed in between. This is what I understand by looking at the data. So feature engineering part done, data science part done. Now decide which algorithm to use. KNN we want to use so I have already imported KNN now I'm gonna use K nearest neighbor and the parameter I'm passing here is three so how many neighbors you want to consider currently I'm considering only three numbers let's see how it looks like model is equal to KNN neighbors passed as three hit shift enter again to train our model model dot fit X and Y which is iris data and iris dot target iris is my data set you can see it here so this is the data which I have loaded once the training is done, now identify the score, the accuracy of your model by simply using model.score. 
let's hit shift enter so the score of our model is 96 percent so the accuracy i'm getting is 96 percent oh amazing let me change the number of neighbors it three is bit less it needs to be odd number if you remember even number is not a good idea let me put 11 let's see we have 150 data points so 11 looks like good number let me execute again now this time the accuracy is increased to 97 percent of let me change the value of k and c if I provide 7, what is the accuracy I'm gonna get? 7 is also fine. 97% I'm gonna get. Let me provide 31 probably. Let's see. Again, this is 96%. Just for your information, you can change the value of the neighbors. This is called the parameter tuning. And default metric, the distance which is used here is a mini Kowiski. This is just for your information. You can change it to Euclidean or Manhattan if you want doesn't really matter default is mini Kowiski. but as you guys know that score is not a correct way to calculate the accuracy of our model we discussed in the previous videos go to our machine learning playlist and search for calculating the accuracy of the model confusion matrix precision recall and f1 score look for that video where i have explained how to calculate the accuracy of the model that is why we are going one step ahead and calculating the accurate accuracy of our model that is precision recall f1 score and also printing the confusion matrix to understand more insights okay how do we do that i'm using metrics for this metrics.classification report metrics.confusion matrix so we have imported metrics initially if you remember here sklen import metrics very simple classification report will print precision recall and f1 score i need to pass expected and predicted so we have prepared expected and predicted expected is what target it is y iris dot target the predicted output that we have got so model dot predict will give me the predictions for the new data points the new data set that i'm gonna pass here okay so predicted expected is prepared i passed it to classification report to know the f1 score also we want to print the confusion matrix here so let me hit shift enter this is how the report looks like so you see precision recall and f1 score is printed for every category precision for seto size one recall for seto size one f1 score for seto size also one f1 score is kind of an average of precision and recall so generally machine learning engineers the managers clients will ask you for what is the f1 score what is the accuracy that you have got so generally accuracy is asked in the form of f1 score so for versicular precision is 92 recall is 96 f1 score is 94 for virginica precision is 96 recall is 92 f1 score is 94 100 percent accuracy for setosa that is what we see here further if you look at confusion matrix how do we read this row 0 talks about type 1 that is setosa row 1 talks about versicular row 3 talks about virginica so column 1 prints 50 so out of 50 data sets 50 are rightly classified setosa 0 versicular 0 virginica and we actually identified it visually when we printed the data here so classifying this setosa is a bit easier but classification of this is not easier it is way away from other data sets features of setosa are way different than this versicular and virginica isn't it whereas for versicular you see 48 are rightly classified two are wrongly classified two are classified as virginica and for virginica you can see 46 are rightly classified and four are wrongly classified as versicular amazing so there is nothing much here in the demo so the most important part that you need to remember is import knn and provide the number of neighbors that is it remaining all the steps remains as it is there is no difference from other machine learning algorithms by the way from the statistics i see that people just view our videos but don't like and subscribe to the channel make sure you help us by like subscribe and sharing these videos with your friends and motivate us to upload more free videos for you all right thanks a lot that is it for this video see you in the next take care bye bye